Though I'm starting a new colony this time. I'm going to keep the mods that I've been using. Um, I'm pretty happy with the, the setup that I have here. The Star Wars factions are fun. And then it's nice to be able to produce some Neutromine. Um, EDB obviously is nice in case you get you want to like just re-roll one little thing. And then the robots are always great. Especially when horrible disasters happen and your colony is going to die anyways. At least you can have clean floors. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to keep keep these as they are. And we're just going to start a new colony. Just a standard colony. Crash landed and all that. And then we'll go with Randy on rough. Give a nice balanced game. Uh, yes, the potato seed. That sounds good to me. Oh, I forgot to make it a larger... Uh, what do you call it? Make it a larger... Map. That's the word. But, whatever. It'll be fine. I think... I think I want a little bit of challenge growing my food. I want like a 30 day growing season place. 20 days. Sounds fun. I don't think I've done a Boreal Forest game in a while. So it actually might be fun to be up there. Get a bunch of bears and lynxes and stuff like that. Um, What do we want? I guess we could just pick, you know, the hills out here. Get some lakefront property. Large hills. Uh, what is it? It goes down to one degree Fahrenheit. Summer temperature up to 76. 20 day growing period. So we're going to have to grow quite a bit. We're going to have to hunt a lot the first season at least. Probably every season. Got some sandstone and marble. All in all, I think that's a good good thing and we're you know on the lakefront i don't think it's gonna actually show the lake edge but maybe it will either way it seems like a nice place to land why not so we got a sickly child proslophobe and pessimist pessimist is pretty nasty but i think we can deal with it he's got good medicine he's good at intellectual and a burning passion for it and then we got shooting with a burning passion, some passion for growing. All in all, I like Cody here. We're going to keep Cody. We got uh, Deanna here. Oh, did Cody have any? No, no injuries. So she's just got a bite scar. That doesn't really matter. She loves animals and is really artistic. She's a cannibal, which makes me want to keep her. But she's also incapable of dumb labor, so I can't. I can't keep her. Let's try another one. Uh, let's see here. No, again, incapable of done labor. Incapable of violent, uh, acceptable, but not ideal. Uh, we have a bit of overlap here, too, with the skills. I don't think land here is very good for us. Incapable of caring and social. Sounds good to me. Night Owl, Proslophile. Really good at intellectual, but we... We're just going to have two two people that do that, I guess. She's decent at shooting in melee already. Good at growing. Decent at crafting. Honestly, we might have to re-roll one of these two. But let's look at Bill here and see. He loves to grow. He is the resident grower. We don't have anybody that can really cook. We need a cook. I think we're going to have to re-roll Bonnie here. Try and get somebody with some cooking. Uh, three. Three. Burning passion in three. That's acceptable. Incapable of social, intellectual, or artistic. He's a nudist, a careful shooter, and a green thumb. That is... Perfect. I like it. Peter here is going to stick with us. We got Bill that is the uh, resident grower. And then we have our... Well, doctor and intellectual here. Uh, Bill likes the animals. You're great at melee. Good at shooting. Yeah, overall, I like this. All right, let's go ahead and start. Cool. Here we go. Let's start by unforbidding things. Let's get our people out of the pods, and then we can... Pause for a minute while we unforbid everything. 
and decide who's going to get what. Pistol. All of that is unforbidden. All right, so where are we? We're kind of in a marshy spot. We got a lot of marshes. Lichen covered dirt. That is rich soil. We got any more rich soil? I'm not sure that we do. So it looks like our growing options are very limited. We got some meals up here we should unforbid. A little bit of rich soil down here. I'm considering we build our base here, down here towards the beach. Yeah. I mean, the the main problem is we don't have a lot of rich soil down there. Maybe we do build it here, just for now at least. And we can move the base down into this area and then eventually have a small farming area towards the beach. Our summer homes. Yeah, that sounds good to me. See a wolf or something? Yeah, a wolf up here. I didn't notice any cougars, but I'm sure they're around. They're always around. There's a fox. Do we have a dog? We do. We have a little baby dog, too. That dog's gonna get eaten. Uh, where's our third colonist? Can I... Uh... Oh, there you are. Alright. You didn't quite pop out of your pod yet, that's all. Alright. So you're... Shooting is better than your melee. You're the melee guy. Go ahead and get that knife. You're the shooter. Uh, do we want to give him the pistol or the rifle? I think we give him the rifle and we try and get Kane here to use the pistol as much as possible. Hopefully get his shooting skill up a little bit. The higher fire rate is going to give him a little more experience. And then we can go ahead and I think we'll box this in. We can kind of use this wall a little bit, I guess. And that's the notification about the Galactic Civil War, which is all good. There's a lot of stuff to mine out here, so that's good. I like that. Looks like some jade, more compacted machinery. Yeah, I think we'll kind of use this wall as our, you know, uh, that is a direction. It is called east, our eastern, God. eastern wall. So let's go ahead and look. Uh, we want to first start with the stockpile zone. We're going to put all of our junk... I don't know. Let's put it here. Why not? And then we want the growing zone. I think we just do... Well, there's some raspberry bushes and stuff in there that I can't grow otherwise. So I think I'm going to kind of mess around with the rich soil here. Just so I don't end up squashing those raspberry bushes for now they'll be they'll be a good source of a little bit of extra food and this I want to make rice I'm thinking rice will be the quickest we also have a geothermal right here so eventually we could probably enclose this area more food let's unforbid that uh, we also probably want to set up well let's not do the harvest yet let's try and get our stuff inside there's going to be storage for everything but chunks and corpses. Looks good. We also want to start building some walls. I think we're just going to build out from here. Not enough wood stored, I'm sure. Let's cancel that. No? I was hitting X. That's what. Alright, and then we should probably set up like a communal barracks for now put a couple doors back to let's put one door up here one door down here and then one in between and we should also do a blanket order we want to start chopping all the wood in the area kind of get all this junk out of the way uh, and then we want to cut this plant we are going to have to kill some raspberry bushes here. It's unfortunate, but it will happen. Go ahead and harvest all of that. 
And yeah, once we have our little stockpile area set up, we can start harvesting the rest of the stuff around here, put our food inside. Let's go ahead and move this zone a bit. Have it encompass the whole room. And yeah, we can just go ahead and, oh yeah, that's right. I haven't set this up. Let's go ahead and go manual priorities. Firefighting is always a one. Patient, we can do two. You're the doctor. Bed rest is like a two. Flicking is always a one. We always want them to flick. Uh, I guess you're the only possible warden, so you can do that. Why not? Hey, Christo's hosting me. That's so nice. Thanks, Christo. Uh, I guess you're the grower and the miner. You have the most interest in them, at least. I'll let him do growing, but I don't want him to prioritize it. Our cook is obviously going to be the cook. Our researcher down here. And then everybody wants all and clean for the most part. Uh, everybody plant cuts. Don't really have to worry about any of that stuff. And do I want to allow you to construct four of 20, six of 20? I think we're gonna only allow Peter here to construct. And Kaneki, Kaneki? I don't, I don't know. I'm assuming it's Kaneki. We'll have him go ahead and do the hunting for us, which we'll probably want to get on soon. We probably want to hunt as many of the big nasty animals as possible. I'm not seeing many. There is a fox, which will probably end up eating our dog at some point, because that always happens to me. The little animals always just end up eaten. I'm mostly just scanning for cougars right now, because those are the ones that always end up killing my colonists. I don't see any, actually. I think that wolf, this wolf over here, is the only thing we really have to worry about right now. A little bit of steel up here. I can unforbid that. That steel, too. There's a lot of steel. Oh, there's another wolf. We could try to tame the wolves, but... I don't know. I've never really tried to tame animals. Like, every once in a while, they'll just kind of join you, and that's fine. But I don't actually try to get them myself. Let's go ahead and make some beds for everybody. They're going to need them. And we can put a lamp in here or something too. Why not? Looks like Bill's getting pretty pretty good progress on our rice field here. I'm thinking we should probably do another field. We can do something like up here. And we'll put in something... Uh, what is it? It's spring, so we should have time to grow corn. It's only a 20 day growing season, if I remember right. Let's go ahead and look actually. Uh, where's corn? There's corn. Corn takes 11.3 days. So we should be able to get one harvest off. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. Our other options, we don't have anybody skill five, I don't think. Do we? We have somebody skill 5? Bill, are you skill 5? Oh, you're skill 11. We can grow whatever the hell we want. I didn't know that. Well, what do strawberries take? 4.4 days. That's pretty great. The rice here... Rice takes 3 days. I think we grow a bunch of berries then. I didn't realize that we had a master grower here. Let's go ahead and put in a few more spots of this. If we can just grow the raspberry bushes, I don't care about the growing zone that much anymore. We don't have to worry about losing them. Let's just do something like that. It's a huge growing zone and it's, you know, going around some of the uh, rich soil here, but it'll be fine. I just want to utilize that rich soil as much as I can. Is this rich soil? It is. We should probably do something there. We can do something small, like some smoke leaf. Get something, because our colonists are going to eventually die and freak out because their friends are dead. And, you know, every once in a while you just want a little bit of smoke leaf around. 
Where is it? There it is. I don't actually know how long this takes to grow either. Let's see, smoke leaf. 7.5 days, so we would be able to almost get three harvests. It depends on whether or not we get any cold snaps or anything like that. We'll see. Everybody's sleeping. We did make it. I didn't make a uh, animal sleeping spot, which I could probably do right now. We've also trapped a rabbit. You are now our slave rabbit. I don't, I'm gonna force you to eat all the grass in here. <laughs> so I don't have to cut it down myself. We should probably get somebody... Will you cook and construct? You grow in mine. I think we'll have him... Well, I mean, he's already set up that way anyways. I don't think we have to do anything. We got some cargo pods. We got a little bit of herbal medicine. That's good. It's going to be very handy sometime soon here. Looks like people are starting to move out and grab all the random junk around the map. We haven't finished cutting all this down, but it's not a big deal. It's all going to die anyways since it's inside now. And it looks like we got a lot of elk here. So hopefully they'll stick around through the winter and we won't starve quite as much, but who knows. Uh, did I miss? I think I missed some rich soil here. Uh, no, that's not at all what I want. That's not it either. That's the one. Do this. As the trees get cut down, I'll see how the zone works and then I'll, you know, like this can be deleted. I don't really care about that. I just want to get the rich soil working for us right now. Get as many berries as possible. We should also start some production for our food here. Put in a little stove. We will also do a butcher's table because we're going to start hunting soon. I guess we'll... You know what? We'll put them in the corner. Why not? We got a minor break risk from Kaneki already, and nothing bad has even happened yet. It's because you're a pessimist. You're just a negative Nancy. Well, very joy deprived. We can actually fix that. We can go ahead and make a. Where is it? Is it furniture? No, it's joy, of course. We can make a little horseshoe pin for now. Eventually in the future, we can, you know, build a chess table or something. Maybe buy a tube TV. Who knows? But for now, the horseshoe pin will be fine. We should probably also make sure they have some dedicated joy time. Um, let's just make it the end of each day. That'll be good for now. Bill is going to diligently continue working on the crops over here. It's much appreciated. The other thing we need to think about is, even though it is early, we, we're going to need a way to keep warm in the winter. It's going to get very cold here in the Boreal Forest. Uh, is there any way for me to check that? Planet, terrain, here we go. So we are going to get down to... No? Okay, well, I'll just check the tile next to me. It's going to get down to 1.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative, I don't know, like maybe negative 10 Celsius, something like that. I'm not a, not a mathematical mastermind. It's like negative 32 times one point blah, 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 I don't know, something like that for the conversion. Looks like Peter's picking up the steel. That steel is going to be useful. I think we're going to use that to start getting some sort of power systems together. We have a very low growing season, but we have a really good opportunity here to create an indoor greenhouse. So if I can get decent power going, power generation, like maybe a solar panel and 